Uh, hey guys, this is uh, Jarek Pelly with NST Sports Performance, and uh, we're going to go over uh, the lap pull down machine. Uh, the exercise with this lap pull down machine that we're primarily going to go over is, uh, is is a lap pull down with a with a pull up grip. Okay, why I like this exercise? If I have an athlete that goes to do pull ups on a bar and they can't perform the pull up, maybe because they don't have the body strength to lift their body weight up and over the bar. You know, a lot of times we can do bands to assist them. A lot of times you can utilize their feet to help them. But what I don't like is you don't really isolate. You don't really get a good muscular contraction because the athlete's struggling so much just to achieve the movement that I feel a lot of times the, the quality of that movement is degraded tremendously. So we have a lap pull down machine. Uh, you have your weight stack. You know, anytime you're performing a movement, you want to pick a weight that you can utilize perfect form. You know, one of my favorite quotes is, make the weight work for you, don't work for the weight. So I'm going to choose a weight, fairly light, all right, and then I'm going to get in, I'm going to adjust this, all right. When you're getting a lap pull down machine, a lot of times you're going to have a seat adjustment and a pad adjustment. When I go to sit in this, okay, this isn't good for me because this is too high. I got to make sure I set this where I can get in and then if that weight's so heavy it doesn't pull me up, I'm locked in. Okay, so get everything adjusted. This is good for me. Okay, I'm going to grab the bar roughly, not on the end, not here. Since I'm doing a pull up grip, I'm going to be right here. Okay, I grip the bar, then I get under the pad, I make sure my hip is all the way in. Okay, and then I get a good upright posture. I come down, I squeeze my back, I control up, I come down for a good one, good one to three, two or two, three counts. So it's one, two, three, pause and squeeze, contract muscles, one, two. Again, come down, one, two, three, squeeze my back muscles, come up, one, two. A lot of athletes, mistakes you'll see on this. They'll lean back like this and they'll get momentum, okay? This is cheating. You should never lean back. You should be upright. You want to come down, you want to pull the bar towards your neck, but you don't want to think about using your arms. You want to think about, when utilizing this motion, using your back muscles. All these arms are as hooks. You want to think of them as hooks. You don't want to think of them as doing a bicep curl. I've seen multiple athletes multiple times when they do this. They'll be out too far, which go out too far, you put a ton of stress on your shoulder, all right, again, grip it hard, grip it even, like if you were to go up on a bar and do a pull up, you want, that's where you want your grip to be, you don't want it too close because you're going to turn it all biceps, you want it out too far wide, you want it right in the middle, neutral, all right, shoulder width apart, again, you get in it, hips are all the way in, arms are fully extended, a lot of times athletes will cut the range of motion, why that fast? If my arm does not go up all the way, I'm, you, I'm missing muscle fibers that I want to get stronger to help me pull, okay? If I got a stronger back, I'm going to get better posture. As well, when I sprint, I utilize my back muscles. So if I get a stronger back muscle, I'm going to have run with faster arms, okay? So those are some of the reasonings you want to do it as well. It doesn't hurt to look great in your back too, but you're going to get your grip, get your grip, hip in all the way. Good extended back muscles, I'm stretched out. I come down, the arms are just hooks. I'm not thinking of them as a bicep curl. So I come down, one, two, squeeze, control up, one, two, three. A lot of people think when they do this, they have to touch their chest. I really don't care if you touch your chest. I just care, are you squeezing your back muscles? If someone was behind you, how would you squeeze your back and flex like you're trying to show off to them? Look, the bar is not touching my chest, but my back is fully contracted. That's the number one priority because when we're doing this, we're trying to develop the back. We're trying to get all the musculature in the back side of the body so we can enhance upon that, that the strengthening abilities in those muscle fibers. Okay, so that's the, the lat pull down, pull up. Again, great exercise. One of my favorites to develop the back. You know, if you can do a pull up, I think that's a better exercise. But if you cannot do a pull up, let's utilize the lap pull down machine until we can achieve a higher level of strength so we can go back and utilize our body on a pull up and achieve the movement that was our goal initially. Thank you.